guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be another haul video. It's going to be a goth punk haul. So I have things from Romwe, Skull Obsessed, Wish, and eBay. Now, from my last haul, it, this is probably very different. Um, considering my last haul was pink, and everything pink, I've gone, you probably think I've gone a little bit off the deep end. Now this is actually more my aesthetic of wearing all black, or, or skulls, or you know, stuff like that. Pink, I, I did wear it over the past while, and I realized, yeah, pink and me don't really go together. It makes me look really washed out, and it just didn't work. But anyways, um, I have a bed full of stuff, and let's get into it. Now the first thing I'm going to say is that this is, I'm not sponsored by any of this. I'm not affiliated with any of this. I'm just doing this for fun. I spent probably a lot more money than I wanted to, but whatever. First item is this Half Moon Pendant. It was four bucks, and I got it off Wish. Then I got the spiked collar, and that was about three bucks, and that's off eBay. So that's what I'm wearing currently. Um, my clothes, I'm wearing just stuff that I've had for like a very long time. So let's get into other stuff. Now this is from Skull Obsessed, and it was, they had a promo, um, it's free, just pay shipping. So that's what I did. Uh, it was free, I paid shipping, it was great. Um, I paid $17.50 for it. It's my I Refuse to Sink shirt. And now I have worn this plenty of times. It's one of my favorite tank tops of all time. I just, I, I'm in love with this, I love it. <laughs> um, you may have seen this in my ink box review video. I was wearing it. So yeah, now the other thing that was from Skull Obsessed, now I didn't get this off Skull Obsessed, I probably should have, I found it on Wish, but because it was, I was just having issues and other stuff, um, they don't have the link anymore on Wish, so I posted the one that's from Skull Obsessed. Now I paid about mm, 18 bucks for this off Wish, if you're on Skull Obsessed it's a bit more expensive. It is a skull hoodie. Now, I did get a refund on this just because they sent me the wrong size, but I'm not complaining. It's light, it's warm, it's well made. I'm impressed. Um, Wish has a lot of nice stuff. That's all I'm going to say. Um, the other thing that's from Skull Obsessed are, I'll put them on, if I can figure out how to put them on. These, I saw them, I thought they were great, they were again part of the promo code for free, just pay shipping, so I did. They're about 20 bucks. So on this one, there's nothing on it, but on this one, there's a skull with what looks like a rose, and they're fingerless gloves. And they're pretty warm, they're, they're well made, they're a nice knit, they don't make me itch, so they're not made of real wool, it's fake wool, but it's, they're still very, very nice, I like them, they're, they're awesome. So I'll take these off. Da, 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 da. And I have, these are from eBay. Now these were cheaper and I probably should have just stuck with these and not gotten the skull ones. Um, but that's me. <laughs> these are longer gloves and these I paid only $2 for. They are fingerless. But they are, um, they're supposed to protect against UV so they go 
pretty far um, up your arm. These are pretty, actually, comfy. This is the first time I'm actually putting these on, so I'm astounded that these actually, they don't feel like they're digging in. The material is very well made and soft. It's very stretchy. I like the stretch. The stretchy makes me happy. Uh, so yeah, so these I'll probably be wearing this summer because they're just, they're nice. They actually feel like they're pulling the moisture away from my skin, which is what I like. Um, because I don't like getting hot. I don't like being all sweaty and disgusting. Um, now, the other thing that I got that's from eBay again is this. It's a skull spiked bracelet. So let's see if I can put this on. It is adjustable, which I'm happy about because usually when I get things and they're not adjustable, they just don't fit. Ouch. Okay. So yeah, so that's on. It's, even though it's adjustable, it's still pretty, pretty big. I can stick my other hand through it, but that's, that's okay. I don't mind that. It's loose enough that it's not going to cause issues. So there, there we go. It's, that's pretty nice, actually. It's metal and leather. It feels, it doesn't feel like imitation leather. It feels like real leather. So for eBay, that's, ooh, ooh, it smells like real leather too. It doesn't smell like it's imitation at all. I am impressed. I am very impressed with that. Now, because it is winter or it is becoming spring, I actually have my heat on full blast. So it's a lot warmer in here than it would be naturally outside where I have wind. So I'm just going to take these off just because I don't want to ruin them before I actually get any use out of them. That's for accessories. Um, I have one more accessory that I thought was pretty awesome. I got this off Romwe. It was only eight bucks. Um, so, let's see. I'm gonna take it out of the bag. And I'm gonna open it. Oh, it has paper inside. That's awesome. Put that over there. Okay, it has a strap, a nice leather little, a uh, nice strap. Yeah, it's adjustable. That's good. I don't like things that are not adjustable because they irritate me. Um, I got this little purse thing. It's a skull. Um, my phone's actually behind my camera, so one second. There we go. Okay. Now, I haven't used this yet. I got this a couple weeks ago, and I've just been sitting on it. Um, I haven't had much motivation to really film anything recently. So I figured, you know what, it's sitting there on my floor, I may as well just make a video about it before I totally forget, and yeah. So let's adjust the strap. Now this is supposed to be a crossbody bag, not sure how accurate that actually is just because of how it's come in the packaging. So let's just see if we can make it a crossbody bag. There we go. Yep, it, it, it can go crossbody. So here's a little skull and I have my wallet, my keys, and my phone. So let's see if we can get this to fit. So let's put the wallet in first. So far so good. Put keys in. That seems to fit. And I'll put the phone in. Zip it up. It fits. It's a little weighty with all the stuff in it, but it's not too bad. It feels comfortable wearing it. It's well made. It doesn't look like it's gonna come undone and it is leather, so it 
Kind of. It feels sort of like imitation leather, but it doesn't smell like imitation leather. It feels like it's maybe actually real. I don't know. But, um, anyways, I'm gonna put that aside. Okay, now the next stuff that I got is clothing. More clothing than what I've already shown. Um, so let's go in order of what I got. Um, the first item is a white skull t-shirt, and I paid, I'm just rounding up, so $9. So let's take it out of the bag. I got this in size large, because this thing. So it's see no evil, hear no evil. I wish it had a speak no evil on it, but it doesn't. It looks well made. The way it's fitting just without putting it actually on, it looks like it will fit. It has stretch. It's stretchy. Stretchy. It doesn't lose its shape. That's a bonus in my eyes. So, we have that. That is up. Now, the other thing is a black crop top. I think this is that. Let's see, I paid $8 for this. Is this the crop top? Yes, it is. It's... The neck is not stretchy at all. But the material kind of is. Um, it should stretch. And it does hit... I'm wearing a wrong shirt for this. I'm wearing a black shirt, but... Um, it falls to where my belly button is, so that, that's pretty impressive. I, I like it. It's nice. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to probably take pictures of this later. Or just film me wearing stuff. But anyways, um, the other thing I got for four bucks are fishnet tights. It says Shen on it because Shen and Mom, we use the same warehouse. These are footless fishnet tights, so I don't have to worry about them being on my feet and causing problems. I got probably the best thing out of this haul that I've come to uh, appreciate is their shoes. <laughs> so I got their platform black combat boots has lace ups the laces are pretty nice i've worn i haven't worn them out of the house but i have put them on before they fit very well i like them um they are faux leather and they're not really insulated inside but this is hard rubber so and the treads are very good looking treads so i assume it'll grip very well i've yet to test them outside but you know. Soon, soon I will test them. Now, which one do I want to do first? Hmm. Let's go with denim shorts. I got denim shorts because who doesn't want a good pair of shorts? I got these in size medium and these were only 11 bucks so they're black denim and they are they do have the rip design on them now I was gonna wear the fishnet tights with these so we'll see how that goes um, and the last thing that I got yeah. is a leather skirt. I got I bought this for eight bucks. It's pleather. It's not real leather, but the, it has an elastic waistband elastic in the back. And it's straight across and it's like a mini kind of skater skirt. So yeah, so that's what I got. Now the fun part. Let's try it all on. Okay, first outfit trying on is the black crop top. You can see 
and the leather skirt. So I'm gonna tilt my camera down so you can see it. So this is the leather skirt. Come, it does cover my butt, which is a plus. <laughs> um, it's shorter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna fall more to my knee, but it's, here's my knee, here's the skirt. And it was, I don't know, four inches above my knee, which isn't bad. Um, the waistband does keep rolling. I assume I'm probably supposed to put it up a little higher, um, which then means there's like six inches between the skirt and my knees, but that's okay. Um, now it was a little difficult to get up just because the leather doesn't, it doesn't really stretch. I thought, because the elastic in the back, I thought it would stretch more, but it doesn't. It's a little saddening, but it's, oops. it's pretty nice. I'll say that. Um, next outfit will be, okay, so here's my summer outfit, or, well, the other one was summery too. So I've paired the white skull shirt, which is unfortunately a bit see-through, but that's okay, with the footless fishnet tights. Now I do have black socks on, so yeah, with, and the ripped up jeans. Now, these are pretty cool. Um, they're comfortable. I was surprised. The only downside is they don't fit me quite well in the waist, so I've had to put an elastic band to hold my pants together. Uh, which is an unfortunate thing, but with Chinese sizes, you can't always Yes, um, even by the sizing chart when you follow them, unfortunately. So yeah, so I'd probably pair this with the, the um, black skull bracelet. Um, the other outfit I would probably pair with the longer black gloves in this, um, just for a more elegant look. Now this will be my tomboyish look. Um, and I would pair both outfits, probably I would pair them both with the fishnet tights and the combat boots, um, or I may end up buying just long black plain socks for the skirt. Um, but yeah. Now it is kind of cold outside, it's, I have my window open, so just to test how it would feel if I wore it outside now, and I could say that if I wore it outside now in March, this would probably not be the smartest idea. Canada is very cold at the moment, especially where I am. I live in Ontario, near Toronto. It's still freaking cold. So wearing this now would not be a very good idea, but hopefully this summer I will get a lot of wear out of this stuff. Um, I know I'll get a lot of wear out of the tops. I don't know if I'll get a lot of wear out of these shorts. Just standing here, I can feel them already digging in to my legs. The skull bag, I would probably use a lot. Now, on a colder day, I would probably just wear this hoodie. Um, so let's, let's zip it up, if I can. It is stretchy material, which is a good thing, so it does fit well in the body. The only complaint that I've had is that the hood, it's supposed to go forward more. It's not supposed to be pulled back like this. And the sleeves are just a smidgen too short when I extend my arms out. It's supposed to be over my hand, which it is when it's pulled. But I mean, I could pair this easily with the black skull gloves and nobody would probably know the difference. Um, this hoodie thankfully has pockets. So yeah, so I'd probably pair everything together that I've gotten. I would pair the I refuse to sink tank top. I would pair this hoodie, I, I would pair a lot of it, um, even with stuff that I have in my own closet now, like with black jeans or whatever, which I have done already with the um, 
I refuse to sink, and a couple other things. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this haul. I know it was long. I know it was probably a long overdue weighted video. Um, leave a comment, like, subscribe, share with your friends. I'm here all the time, so I'll probably, if I don't see your comment right away, don't worry, I'm working on a reply or my kids are playing on my computer and I, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys on the next one.